Who is fitter? Often in an exam, you must interpret graphical data and apply your knowledge about aerobic and anaerobic respiration to determine who is fitter and why. But first, some important points. In general, fitter people show the following traits regarding exercise. Their heart rate is lower during exercise. Their heart rate recovers faster after exercise. They don't produce as much lactic acid during exercise. They can repay oxygen debts faster after exercise. They can inhale a larger volume of air into their lungs compared to unfit people. They are more efficient at utilizing oxygen, so they rely less on anaerobic respiration. This can show up as more carbon dioxide being produced because they are aerobically respiring more. If you can remember these general ideas about fitness and apply some common sense to exam questions, you should be okay. The hardest type of question is probably looking at carbon dioxide output. People sometimes struggle with the concept that more carbon dioxide being produced can be a good thing. If you are producing lots of carbon dioxide during an intense workout compared to somebody else, that means you are doing more aerobic respiration. Those that show a lower carbon dioxide output are relying more on anaerobic respiration. Imagine four individuals on an exercise bike and they all must cycle at the same intensity. On modern exercise bikes, the energy you put into pedaling can be measured in joules per second or watts. So, they must all try and ride at an output of 350 watts of energy, which is hard work by the way. We will look at carbon dioxide levels produced over time and the data also shows us when riders stop due to cramp in the legs. Notice that individuals who have higher levels of carbon dioxide produced last longer on the bikes. This is because they are aerobically respiring more. Remember, carbon dioxide is a product of aerobic respiration. Those that are producing less carbon dioxide are anaerobically respiring more and producing more lactic acid. And that is why they stop pedaling first. Remember, they are all expending the same amount of energy at 350 watts. The trick is to look at how they are getting that 350 watts of energy. In the next lesson, we are definitely looking at the structure of the respiratory system.